What's up? We're uh, destroying some some birds today. Uh, these are just turkey vultures. I used to actually, I think I mentioned in a, in a sketchbook tour video that I used to draw these birds a lot. It's been a while, not a while, it's been a week since we've done a video, which it might stay like that. It might be a one upload a week, which I think is fine. Uh, but yeah. So a little update um, on Rogue Squadron. I haven't played Rogue Squadron because I actually played a uh, Rogue Squadron uh, 2 instead of Rogue Squadron 3. I think I mentioned that already in the tank video. But, uh, still GameCube related but not Star Wars related. Uh, I performed like a little surgery on this Smash Bros. Melee game I had. And it worked actually, like, it didn't read the disc apparently, that's what the, this is what the GameCube said, like it said that, you know, this, this can't be read, so I looked at the tutorial and I just sanded it with like this 200 grit sandpaper I had, and yeah, then I just waxed it, like a lot, I still need to wax it more because the game worked, but after a while it said disc can't be read. And then I just had, you just have to like open it and then spin the disc as fucking like ratchet and bootleg as that sounds. I don't know if bootleg is the right word for that, but it's kind of ratchet, but whatever. <laughs> I can just polish the disc more. But yeah, it was cool. I didn't know how the fuck to play it. Like I fucking forgot. I didn't really play Smash Bros that much to be honest. Or like usually I would just play like the story mode or something. Yeah, I don't know. But. Uh, but yeah, so that happened, that, that, uh, Smash Bros. surgery thing happened. Oh, what else? Oh yeah, so I wanted to do this in the tank video, but I just forgot. Uh, I'm just gonna put, like, a song in the description for all the videos. So, like, or a song or an album, like, if you guys want to listen to it, like, you can. If you don't, then, you know, just don't click it, I guess. But... Uh, yeah, so I just put one, I don't know which one I'm gonna put, so I just put, like, a random one, but next video, I'll, like, come with a song prepared, you know? Okay, this guy looks wacky as hell, dude, let's just skip to another one, and we'll come back to him. So, oh yeah, another little news update, I finished my oceanography class this morning, actually, I I fucking went to sleep late. Like, I forgot that I had the exam, dude. It's at 8 o'clock in the morning. Like, he gives you, like, a time frame from 8 to 9. So, once it's 9 o'clock. Like, the exam opens at 8, and once it's 9, like, you're done. The like, exam closes. So. Um. Yeah, I just studied a little bit. And I got, like, a 90 or whatever. But then I had, like, three. I had, like, a eight extra credits, not credits, like, points for the exam added, because, like, the quiz gives you, like, a curve, kind of, so it's, like, extra credit, so, yeah, I needed, like, I needed, like, a 77 or higher to get, to finish with a B in that class, so, that was fine, and then, yeah, bro, thank God, I'm done with that shit, I have been drawing, I, um, been doing like more character stuff not exactly character stuff i mean yeah i guess character stuff i've been drawing like random things like i don't always make drawing videos is like drawing here is different than just you know chilling and drawing but i think i should make more drawing videos cause at least for these like you know i'm drawing a hundred percent of the time like there's no well when you cut it like whenever i cut the video like you'll know because like i take my hand away like out and then I cut it and go back. So I'm just drawing, like, in one shot here. But, you know, there's, like, distractions and stuff when I'm not doing that, so. Yeah.
So apparently they're um, opening up the movie theaters for 15 cents. That's crazy. And also, uh, on the kind of opposite side of that, like Mulan on Disney Plus is coming out. Like, I guess they're doing a live action movie of it. And it's like, this is what, I haven't done any research on this, but multiple people have told me this. And I think I saw a post about it too. I, I, I haven't confirmed this. This is not confirmed. So I, if you're going to tell somebody about this, then I think you should look it up before you tell them. But Disney Plus is releasing Mulan, the live action, for 30 something bucks. I, I don't know if it's 15, but it's, it's in the fucking double digits, dog. Which is kind of crazy. Like you're already playing, paying for the subscription for Disney Plus, you know, and you're gonna charge more money for, you know, a Mulan movie, dog. Like, I mean, people will buy it because that's how people are, you know. Like some people are like that, but I don't know, dude. Don't know how I feel about that one. Like, I don't know, Disney has kind of become, like, a persona for some people. Like, not not talking trash or anything, but... Like, I don't know, some people would just say, like, you know, people say, like, oh, yeah, I love The Office. Yeah, they, the same, like, there's people like that, but they love Disney. Like, how many times can you watch fucking, fucking Toy Story, dog, you know? Or, like, I, I mean, at least for me, like... Monsters University. I don't know what, like, how the fuck this happened, bro. I think I was in Stone High School when this happened over the summer. Like, they played Monsters University. Like, I don't know how many times a week, not a week. They were like on TV and cable TV. Like, they played the movie. Like, they just re like ran it over and over, like on the scheduled television. Which is, I don't know why the fuck they did that, but my dad watched it all the time, and then I would go. Like, he would watch it when they would play, and then I would go past the living room, and I would see him watching it, like, all the time, like, in different days. I'm like, what the hell? It's, it's weird how they're, they keep, they keep playing Monsters University. But, I mean, not to, not to, uh, like, get too crazy with, like, the topics. Like, I, I don't really want to talk about too crazy, like, I, I just kind of want to talk about chill stuff, you know, like, fucking Star Wars, like, drawing and stuff. I'm taking way too long on this guy, but, um, like, the whole situation that's going on right now, well, that's kind of crazy, dude, how that, sh how this is gonna end, you know, I don't know, but, I mean, I don't really mind it that much, I, I know, like, some people, like, you know, their big thing is, like, going to the gym, or their, their big thing is, like, sports or something, but, you know, I'm, I draw, like, yeah, like, if there's no, nothing going on, like, yeah, I would go out a little more, but I usually stay home a lot, or as of recently, like, in the last year, I've been going out more a lot to draw, like, with other friends that I have that draw, too, but, um, it's kind of crazy, bro, to think how everything's going to end. Like, there are a lot of the conspiracy theories and stuff about different things. But, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about everything. Like, it's, we're in, like, such a technological, advanced, like, state right now. That, you know, anything can happen. Like, the whole, the whole dystopian society shit could actually, like, it's, like, real dude like it could happen with how much technology we have right now at least like the beginning of it you know like a lot of these conspiracy theories like i'm i like listening to them but a lot of the things like i don't necessarily believe it or not believe like there's not really like any proof you know so you know stuff like that like the whole thing about oh is this a simulation or you know different things like that uh like, no proof, dude. So, and also, like, the research, like, where are you getting your research from? Like, I don't know, I've heard, like, especially when the whole corona thing happened, that's when I kind of started getting into conspiracy video videos. Uh, I, I don't know, I just think they're interesting compared to watching, like, a fucking, 
I don't know, YouTube video for, like, whatever, like, games or something, or, like, video games, but, or a podcast, too, but it's just interesting, uh, and the whole thing about 5G, right, everyone was shitting themselves, because, oh my god, 5G's gonna fucking melt my brain and shit, it's gonna fucking microwave me, which, I don't, I don't know what's up with 5G, dude, no one, there's too many things going on to think about 5G, maybe they just thought about 5G, because, there's nothing else to fucking think about. They just wanted to blame Corona on something. I don't fucking know, dude. But 5G, right? I saw this, you know, part of a... Part of, a, like, a documentary or, like, conspiracy documentary. There's, like, this guy taking... This is, like, early, early, early Corona. Like, we're talking... We're still in March right now. Like, no one knows what the fuck Corona is. People are shitting themselves. That That's the time period. So... I, it was like a, a video of this guy taking like a radiation meter. Is that, is that what, what do you call it? It's something that measures radiation. Like it goes like beeps. It tells you like when the, when like you're in a spot that it's not safe. Like there's a certain number uh, that it's not safe like for people to be there. Uh, there's so much radiation. But yeah, he was taking that close to the 5G tower, right? And it was going, apparently it was going off the charts, you know, it was, you know, way over the fucking recommended, like, the safe limit, right? But then I also saw, so that right there is a case of, all right, 5G towers are going to fucking fry you. Or maybe that, the radiation doesn't do anything, I don't know. But anyways, I went to this, uh, on YouTube, I looked the 5G to see, like, oh, well, what do they have on YouTube, right? And there was, like, this, this, uh, YouTube channel, you know, like, those little, those YouTube channels that make, like, graphic design videos they aren't graphic design videos they're videos explaining stuff but they have like cool little graphic design things videos this, i think this is called like infographic or something like that and they were saying like to sum it up they said 5g like it's not going to do anything because i don't know what uh like unit they use to measure it like hertz let's just use hertz it, it's wrong but let's just really can use hertz like let's say they said a microwave is 70 hertz right and it's all concentrated in the middle of your microwave. That's why, like, the food of your microwave is always, like, warm in the center, which I just real... Like, I friend told me that the other day. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, shit, yeah, you're right. But, yeah, 70 hertz, right? Me like, targeted in the center of your microwave in one spot. And the 5G, right, your phone is going to give off one hertz. And it's going to be spread out through the entire room. So it's not going to be as concentrated. So it, it's like, it doesn't even affect you, right? Because people say not to stand in front of the microwave, like, blah, blah, blah. I don't, and I don't stand in front of the microwave, like, I don't fucking know. Why would I risk it, I guess? I don't know. But <laughs> I guess it does give off some kind of radiation if you do it, like, every day. But yeah, so why would, like, you know, why would Infographic, why would that YouTube channel lie about that? You know, they're just trying to make something to make people feel good about 5G or... Or did they just want, like, views? Or maybe that's the truth. Maybe the other guy is, like, crazy. No one knows, you know? Where do you get your information from? Like, I'm not a scientist, right? Like, I can't, like, give my opinion on that. Because, like, I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't know about 5G. I don't, I don't study that. I don't know about, like, all the, the things that go into that. So, that's the thing with, like, doing, your like, your own research these days. Like, you have to, like, check a lot of sources. Like, what's which sources are even, like, believable? Like... Like, especially, one thing that that I've been seeing a lot of, especially on Instagram, is, you know, it's been, like, a not a trend, but people repost stuff on their story, you know? Especially when the Black Lives Matter thing came out, people always posted, you know, different things. I, I, tried, to, I tried to, like, post videos and, like, footage, because you can't, how are you going to fake footage, bro? Like... Yeah, okay, yeah, you can set it up. Dude, that's, like, you can... It's really easy to, to write fake shit, you know, on, like, a text. But video, it's, like, more, like, you know, like, uh... Has more, like, a foundation of it being real, you know? Like, what are you gonna, like, fake a video? Like, that's, like, more work, you know? Anyone can fake a, like, a post or whatever by just writing stuff really quickly, you know? So... Yeah, this guy's actually coming out kind of goofy. So, a lot of people post, like, repost stuff, you know. Oh, guys, wear your mask, blah, blah, blah. 
I uh, do not sound like such a complainer, bro. That's why I didn't want to start talking about this shit. <laughs> yeah, whatever, I'll just finish the video like this. Uh, they're like, oh yeah, wear your mask, this, this, and this. And like, people are, are putting fake posts, you know, like fake news, not fake news, like fake information, like just to post something to just to get attention, you know, like I saw this thing that said, oh, uh, make sure when you throw out your mask to like take off the straps because it could be caught in animals and it can like hurt animals. And it was like a duck or some like a sea bird. I don't know if it was like a seagull, but it was like a little bigger. I think it was a seagull was like something that looked like a mask it had the same colors as the mask right but it wasn't a mask bro like why would they do that shit bro like that's that's so stupid like the mask would like you can rip the the little the little at least this is a disposable mask by the way the the picture that she had you can rip those little hinges like those little uh straps off the mask like no problem dude you don't think an animal could could take that off you know even if it even got stuck to how would it get stuck there you know like i said i don't like dude you know people complain like the media mainstream media is all fake well you know people on on the internet do the same thing you know like i don't know dude so i don't really like keep up too much with it with like the news and stuff especially like politics i don't really care that much So yeah, also uh, another thing, like if you guys want, this sketchbook's a little like, you know, it's not really that clean and there's a lot of character design stuff. Like, I don't really know if I'm gonna do a sketchbook tour of this. So if you want, like uh, we can do like each video, I can just go back and show you the pages I've drawn from the, like from this video to the next video. And the next video I'll show you from this page onto what I'm about to draw in the next video, you know? So that may be cool if you guys want that. Um, oh yeah, actually, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you right now because I wanted to show you like these mo these like monkeys I drew. Yeah, so this is all we drawn, bro. No, well we drawn a little more than this, but we've been drawing this stuff. Do some character designs. Do that like warhog plane over there. Um. Oh yeah, this monkey. And my other sketchbook that I haven't finished yet, I should be finishing it soon. I drew like this guy. I, I was doing like a sculpture on these guys. Like I did a sculpture, but it didn't work out, but whatever. Like I thought it was cool. I got a reference from like Korean and Japanese tattoos, how they draw like the tigers and stuff like that. So I just thought that was kind of cool. And then right here, like I kind of, oh no, and you can't see it. It's, uh, it's too like, the camera's too far away. But... Uh, whatever. I'll just, like, try to set it up better. This guy looks so big, that's why, uh, like, my hand compared to it. I think in the, the mall scan I showed in my first sketchbook tour is the size of my hand, so. Anyways, back to the, the drawing. Damn, dude, now I kind of... Now I kind of committed with these things. back to this guy yeah, I did a lot of talking that's why I don't really like talking about such a meaningful like not meaningful but content I don't like talking content because then it takes away from the drawing content but maybe it's just as I haven't really done it that much maybe if I, if I practice I get better but I'll get better at it Yeah, it's been pretty chill. And I had, uh, yesterday. Yesterday? No, the day before yesterday. It doesn't really fucking matter. Like, no one knows what day it is when I'm recording this. But the other day, I, uh, in this place called Lucky China, bro, it's so good. <laughs> it was, like, right in front of my college, and I drove down there. I haven't been there in so long. So I drove down there and ate some, like, some food.
So yeah, I just hope everything can like, I mean, I just hope everything can open up and all this can be over soon, dude. I was planning a trip, like I was planning a trip with my friend, like a, to go to a jiu-jitsu tournament before the whole Corona thing came in. Like we were like looking at tickets and stuff and we're like, oh damn, look, they're only 95 bucks. Like that's pretty good. And then we had no idea, you know, <laughs> like, oh yeah, everything's closed, dog. Like, they were canceling the NBA and stuff. That's so crazy, bro. Like, this year has been fucking insane, dude. Like, with events and stuff. Like, I remember I was at work. And on the TVs, they put, oh, Kobe Bryant just died in a helicopter crash. And I was like, what the hell, dude? That's so insane. Yeah. Like, for, for example, like, some conspiracies that uh, reminds me of. Like, they're just... You know, a little, a little too out there. Like, they're saying like, you know, thirty three, thirty three percent people saying thirty three percent of the news like Kobe Bryant was a signal for coronavirus. Like, what is that shit, dog? Like, like there's this conspiracy theory about microchip, like Bill Gates wanting to microchip people and like putting a vaccine that would like change the way you think and stuff, or, like your genes. Like, okay, that's a little more believable than fucking Kobe Bryant was a signal to. To the fucking coronavirus, what is that shit, dog? Like, why the fuck does it have to be a signal? Why does Kobe Bryant's death, is, is fucking Kobe Bryant, like, some kind of, you know, like, some kind of fucking meditator, like, not meditator. What's the, what's the word, fucking word I'm looking for? Reincarnator, dude? Yeah, does he fucking practice reincarnation or something? Like, oh, yeah, guys, let me just fucking... No, dude, what, the, what is that shit, bro? Like, who comes up with that shit? I don't know. I think, like, the people that make the conspiracies are, like, they're so confident about it that, like, I guess that's what sells it to some people. Because, like, I don't know, dude, a, a big thing now is that if somebody says something, like, it's people believe it, you know? I don't know. Damn, this fucking, this has gotten a little out of control. Yeah, I kept saying I was gonna put more blocks in my drawing but I haven't really gone through with that. Oh yeah dude. I was I was gonna start the video off with this but I forgot. I shave I I like shaved my head yesterday. Not shaved it like with a razor, like with an electric razor. Kinda like a buzz cut. Yeah I did it myself. The front came out fine but the back is a little patchy because I don't know, it's like, I can't see that, like, back there that much. Like, I held a mirror behind my back so I can see, but, like, looking at a mirror to look through another mirror to see where you're putting your hand and stuff doesn't really work out, so. Well, you know, whatever, it's not gonna grow back, so we're good. And also, like, it's kind of nice not having a fucking mop head. I'll draw a self-portrait um, by the next video that I do, and then... You guys can see. <laughs> you guys can see what I look like, I guess. Usually with the self portraits, like, I don't even bother drawing my hair. Like, I just sometimes, like, draw, like, the the hair that collides, like, cover, it goes over my... The hair that goes over my, uh, like, forehead, you know? And then not to, like, waste ink, or sometimes I just put, like, white hair and I just put, like, little strands. But I guess now I gotta draw my fucking skull, or just, maybe I just, like, you know... Begin, not draw like the top all the way you know just draw like a little bit so <laughs> you can just see like yeah this bitch doesn't have any hair i mean i kind of look bald bro if you would put me in like a filter i don't really look bald you can see i have hair but if you would put me in like a, a filter like one of those not a filter if you would like mess with like the you know brightness or saturation or stuff like that you, you can make me bald with this so yeah, it looks fine though, I guess. But yeah, I don't really care like how I look, dog. Like I'm not going out, you know, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Okay, he. I don't know how I feel about, about how he came out, dude, but. I don't usually draw their eyes like that. I, I'll do like different eyes for this next one. The next drawing. We're probably gonna do 
We're at 25 minutes right now. We'll do one more. It's a little, a little too caricature, like character, caricature, caricature, bro. Why can't I speak? <laughs> caricature, character. I'm not even gonna say that word. You know what the fuck I mean? Like this little, like, you know, those drawings of the people with the big heads. He looks too, too expressive for me. I don't know if you've noticed, but like a lot of my drawings are, like, the expressions are very like mellow, like not very like, no one like going crazy or like one thing I don't like is those Disney expressions. I mean, Disney's fine. Like, I just don't like my, want, my, I don't like my stuff looking like that, you know? Like, especially like the new movies, like the expressions they put, the characters, it's like an exaggeration, but I don't really like how they look, like the energy for me, for like my drawings at least. So. All right, we're gonna draw this big guy here. I'm gonna draw this guy like a little quicker, like more expressive lines. So what I like about these birds, like they're, they're like, they got like curves and stuff. Cause like, yeah, they have the skeleton, but they also have like their, their uh, feathers and stuff like they're fat, like making, like, like filling in, in space, you know? So yeah, also, um, uh, yeah, I came up with these, n these new characters, like, you know, like those filler characters I always talk about in the sketcher videos, I, I made up these two new ones, I think, or three new ones, kind of, I don't really know, like, who's gonna make the cut or not, right now we have the, uh, the star guy, the triangle guy, and the square guy, well, they're not squares, they're, he's a cube, or like a rectangular cube, but, We'll just call him the squ like a square. The, but he's not called Square Guy though. He doesn't really have a name. Like none of them have names. I guess this was uh, that's like kind of like what makes them cool, to me at least. I don't know. Like I'm kind of zombie like, when it comes to like that. I guess. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, bro. What do you mean I'm zombie like? Like, for me, the characters don't have to be, like, super energetic and stuff. Because, like, people aren't like that in real life, you know? Like, that's... That's, um... Like, one of the reasons why I don't really like the writing in American comics. Like, Marvel and those kind of comics. Because, like, nobody says, like... You know? Like... Not only that, right? Like, also, like, a, not, is sitcoms the right word to say it? Like, shows like that... Like, that's more like a kid thing, you know? Like, you watch it when you're... Like, when I was growing up, I watched it Wizards of Waverly Place. Uh, what other shows? Like, later on, like, when, when my brother... I, I had, like, a younger brother, and I guess he watched this, and then I just watched it with him, too. But I was still young at that age. Like, this show called Good Luck Charlie. Oh, Sweet Life is Like and Code, yeah. Well, that's not really a good example. Never mind. I don't know, just the writing, you know, it's just, like, kind of forced, like, people don't always, like, like, I, I like, for example, like, I really like the anime, Cow Cowboy View, it's my favorite anime, and also the anime Attack on Titan, right, it's, I like Attack on Titan so much, because, like, it's realistic, yeah, like, there's titans and stuff, and, like, they eat people, right, that's not realistic, but the way the characters act are, is, like, a little, is, like, more realistic compared to other anime, because, like, dude, they're about to be eaten alive by these huge, like, creatures, you know? Like, that's crazy, you know? Like, in the first... No, I mean, no spoilers, but... Like, in the first season... Like, there's, like, a group of, like, recruits. Like, there's, like, the, the first time, like, they saw Titans, right? And, like, they are like, all scared and shit. There were, like, Titans outside this building they were in. Like, one dude, like, shot himself in the head, like... Like, so, like, they were just, like, under the desk and stuff. Like, that's crazy, dude, you know? 
which is cool like that's what i like i like realistic stuff that is kind of like similar to how people might react in real life you know because like how is how is batman gonna act you know you know in gotham all all day you know not all day but all the time like fighting crime and stuff like spider-man you think he's gonna be like energetic and stuff he's gonna be fucking tired dog like he's gonna be like god fucking damn it like how how much can you take of this shit before he starts like you know like then again like it's still a, a little comic you know like it's still a comic but i don't know i just like myself being a little more realistic I don't know if you guys read, if anyone likes manga, uh, but a really good manga is, the, a really good manga that's really appropriate for, like, this timeline right now, like, the corona timeline, is this one called uh, 21st Century Boys. It's really fucking good. It's a, it's like a mystery. It's like 350 chapters, 349 chapters. Like, dude, I, I think the reason why I don't really like the American comics is, like, I kind of spoiled myself when it comes to, like, like writing material and like storytelling like dude this thing this is like i think this is the first manga i ever read like completely all the way like like the writing is good like the characters like like the mystery like like it's a kind of like a brain for like what the fuck is going on like like i, I like good mysteries bro like when you don't know what the who the fuck like i don't know dude like some people watch like i was i was watching like a an anime in high school like a long time ago with my friend uh, it was like a mystery, and he's like, oh yeah, that's the killer right there. I'm like, what, dude? Like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, I knew it was the killer all along. I'm like, that kind of sucks, but it, it's cool being in, like, in, like, you know, confusion. Like, oh my god, dude, who the fuck is it? Like, damn. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't know, but yeah, 21st Century Boys is pretty good. You can, I mean, I read it online, like, I know it's not good to, like, read comics online without paying for them but it's like twenty dollars it's like pretty much 20 bucks including shipping for a volume and that thing has like what 21 volumes like that's insane bro like if it wasn't for me reading it online I, I would never have been able to read it you know so but at least like you know at least i read it like i i like the like the the uh, the author and stuff the drawer he has like a the the guy's name is Naoki Urasawa his he has like this show called Man Ben, Man Ben, yeah I think that's how you say it. He, you know, interviews different manga artists in Japan. It's in Japanese, but there's subtitles. Like it's cool to see like how they work and stuff. Like, some of them work alone. Some of them have like employees that you know do stuff for them, like fill in colors, not colors, fill in like pages. And also, like, I think that's a a big thing, like, if you, you know, if you like making comics, like, I can't really say I like making comics because I haven't really made any, dude. I make this, this shitty sketchbook ones. And I, I've been drawing those characters. I've been trying to do, like, a body, like, sketching and stuff. I should think I should do more of that today. I think this is the, like, this is the loss of, like, the the practice drawings I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll do some poses later tonight or self portrait, but I want to like uh draw more poses uh out of my head so I can get like a system already of being able to draw them. Um also like I've been looking at a lot of animators too because like they have really cool perspective, you know that I think will look good in comics. So that's good like to get different things in like to your under your belt, you know, in your, like, mental bank account, as people say. Ikimako. Yeah, to balance the drawing out, it's just, like... See, it doesn't always have to be, like, you know... You don't always have to draw, like, the... You know, every little feather with the detail. Like, you can just do this shape, and like you still know, like it's feathers. Yeah, at least I hope it comes out like that. Like, use the tool to your advantage. You know, like there's a little flexible, little brush nib type, not brush nib. 
I guess you can say brushing him. What the hell am I saying? Brush nib? Brush pen? This little flex nib, yeah. Or should they call this a brush pen? Dog, it ain't a brush pen. It's like a flexible calligraphy marker, yeah. Because if you call this a brush pen, then what's the, the Pentel pocket brush or whatever? Pocket brush pen? <laughs> what the fuck am I saying, bro? The... This bad boy right here. Like, if you call this a brush pen... What the fuck is this? This is a brush, dude. Like, there's bristles in there. So, how are you gonna call this a brush pen if this exists, right? So. Yeah. I haven't really drawn with that one. It's... I don't really like drawing with... I like this stuff. Like, this little chisel, this. Cause it's quick, you know? Like, I don't really have the patience. I don't, I don't like taking so much time to you know, do a line, like, I just, that's it, like, make the line, with the, with that, you kind of have to go, like, you know, the thickness, and then you gotta, like, practice having, like, a light hand, so you can, you know, not fuck up the, see the quick, I can go, like, really quick, you know, with the other one, I guess you can still go quick with the, with the actual brush pen, but, those two together it's fine so a little update on the sculpting and the last thing we did we tried to do this baboon this mandrill the guy that i drew that i showed you earlier today we tried to do it. that's why i drew him because i did a sculpture of him and it was coming out good I, I just have trouble with rendering you know like how do i make this more detailed how do i polish this up because for drawing like you just keep adding more lines, but here you gotta, you know, really take away the rough spots, like, um, take away the rough spots, like, oh, is the proportions, are they good, you know, is it too much space, is, is like, too much space in between, like, this part and this part, like, you gotta, like, measure, so you put a bunch of references of mandras or whatever you're doing, and you kind of, like, figure it out in terms of uh, figure it out in terms of like where you where you want more clay and where you want less clay. So yeah, I'm still kind of, I'm really new to the sculpting thing, but I'm taking a, an online sculpting class, hopefully. Um, I plan to hopefully like, I'll let you know when when that happens. I just saw just like said in a video like oh I did the, I didn't do an online sculpting class so I decided to do it. But yeah I think we're done here. This is kind of bootleg, let me fix this up. He's he's mainly black though to be honest with you. So I'm just gonna like put some of these lines. Which don't look bad by themselves but we're mostly gonna put everything black here. We just want these lines to indicate like, hey, there's feathers here, you know? Instead of just being black. And it's also like more interesting, you know? Like look, look how much space and speed you can put. Like you can fill a lot of space. The only problem is like these Tombow markers kind of run out of ink quick. Whatever, never mind. I've had this one for a while. So, but I haven't been using it with this new sketchbook. Now we just gotta finish the job with this guy, I guess. But, um, yeah, if, uh, I might do, like, a sculpting video. I usually don't do a sculpting video because it's a lot of, like, back and forth stuff, like, sometimes. And plus, like, the angle wasn't really that good because I'm moving around a lot. Here, like, the paper's always on the... The paper is always on the floor, on the on the desk, you know. I'm always moving my hands sculpting. 
and the clay I have is monster clay which is really good it's it's like kind of waxy so you gotta heat it up for it to get soft like, just pause the video I guess Give them a little more like toning, not toning, yeah, yeah. Give them some more like blue. There we go. There we go. Right, we're pretty much done. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hold up, let's give this guy a little, a little darker, a little bit of a darker area down here. It's better. You can kind of get a different tone, like different values with this pen. If I go over it once, it's kind of a little, it's a little transparent. It's not like black, even though black kind of does it. If like the black ink, this is not ink, you know, it's a marker juice, like marker ink, you know, it's not completely opaque. So you can use it to your advantage if you want, if you would like to, I guess. as I continue working on it, I guess I continue drawing, but, um, yeah, that's it, uh, I'll put the song in the description, if you want to check it out, and that's it, I'll see you in the next video.